Good morning, how are you today? Hope you're having a fabulous day. Today I thought I would talk to you about three ways that I use lighting in my home during the winter to make it feel more cozy. Here in Minnesota we have had some very cold temperatures, a lot of snow and nastiness and a lot of wind. So it's really important to me to make the house feel cozy because all you really want to do is snuggle in when it gets cold and yucky out like this. There's three ways that I use lighting to keep my house feeling more cozy. The first way is to use twinkle lights or string lights around the house. The second way is to use lamps and lamp timers. And the third way is to use candles, both real candles and the battery operated kind. So let's get into this. So first of all, let's talk about string lights. There's a few different options. You've got your basic kind that you can get, you know, your Christmas lights, the twinkle lights or whatever. These are just the plain old white ones. Um, my daughters use a set of colorful, pretty bulbed ones that are Christmas lights, but we have them strung up around their room. So instead of using their overhead light, they'll use the, they'll turn on their, their um, twinkle lights and it's a little more cozy and feels kind of festive. The other option you have are something like this, which are battery operated. Now these I think I got at Target. These have like the crystals over the light and they're really pretty when they're hung up. Um, and these are just battery operated ones. I have them all up in a bunch. <laughs> And these are nice, you know, put on a shelf somewhere, string over a mirror, stuff like that. Just to give your room, your house a little cozy glow, which is kind of nice this in January because I don't know if you're like me, but I kind of, I miss the Christmas tree lights because I would turn on the Christmas tree lights and turn off all the other lights in the house and just have the Christmas tree lights on and it's so pretty. So this is kind of something like this. It kind of gives you that same cozy, warm feel. And I use these... I have a set of these in my bedroom and I have a set of these in my living room right now. In my living room I have a set of battery operated lights hung over the corner hutch and these are the type that need to be turned on and off with a switch. In my bedroom on my headboard shelf I have another string of lights. These are also battery operated but these I do have a timer option and I picked them up at Michael's. Okay, so the second thing that I use to keep the house feeling more cozy is lamps. It seems like such a simple thing, but it makes such a difference. Um, the difference between having a lamp on in a room and that compared to like the overhead lighting is, is huge, I think, anyways. Obviously, you need to have the, your overhead lighting on some of the time, you know, when you're cooking or task lighting, that sort of thing. But for the general purposes, lamp lighting is perfect you know one lamp on in a in a room it makes the room really cozy feeling now along with my lamps i use a lamp timer these things are amazing if you don't have one i highly recommend that you get one of these this one's a super simple one it's just a dial dial type with the plug on the on the side there are more sophisticated versions you know like digital and ones with more plugins that sort of thing so but basically you set it, the lamp comes on at a certain time, and the lamp turns off at a certain time. You don't have to do anything but set the thing and then it goes until, you're, until you unplug the lamp or your light bulb burns out. They are awesome. One thing that these lamp timers have helped me with is the lighting problem that I have with my children. They will go through the house and as they walk through the house they will turn on every light switch they can find on the way to where they're going. And they never turn anything off and it drives me crazy so what I have found is if I have a lamp already on in a room they won't turn any more lights on so that helps me with it helps me save money in the long run I believe and it just makes the room feel more cozy so I use my lamp timer so that they come on every day at like five o'clock and they're on until about depending on which one I have one that stays on pretty much the whole night because my husband is up late and he works late so he has one little lamp on so he can see around the house but basically this has saved us a lot and lamp timers are awesome you need to get some of these in our kitchen I have a small lamp that I have on the counter that does a great job of lighting up the kitchen and our stairwell 
In our combined living dining room space, I have a lamp sitting on the desk that comes on for about four or five hours each night. Okay, so the third thing that I like to use around my house to make it feel warm and cozy are candles. I use real candles and I use faux candles all over the house. I don't think there is a room in this house that doesn't have a candle, if not multiple candles. I love them so much. <laughs> I can't, I think every, a lot of people are in the same boat. There's just nothing like candlelight to make a room feel cozy and warm and inviting. When the kids go to bed every night, I turn off all the lights and I light candles and I lay on the couch and I read a book or watch something on Netflix and I absolutely love it. It makes so, it makes me feel so warm and cozy and I just, I enjoy that quiet, cozy time. So anyways, so most of the time around the house, I'll use a jar candle like this. This is a three wick one from Bath and Body Works. Oh, then, or I will use like a candle stick in some kind of holder like this that if it drips, I don't have any problems. I love these two because candlesticks give off a lot of light. I also like to use just simple tea lights. Like I love this little tea light holder from Pottery Barn because I know when I light a tea light, they're going to last, they're going to burn for about an hour and a half or so, and then they're just going to kind of fizzle out and there's no problems. I almost always have some sort of candle on my living room coffee table. Right now I have a collection of mercury glass votives. And then the other kind of candle obviously is a faux candle. Now I have so many different types of faux candles and I don't know if you're like me but I'm obsessed with these things. I have, there's the um, indoor outdoor kind, I think this is one's from Target. That's just like a hard plastic and they just kind of glow. And then there's the actual, the ones that have, are made from wax. Um, and both are nice. These obviously look more real, but these I like because, you know, I can put them like on the porch and that sort of stuff. But the best thing about faux candles is the fact that they have the timers. I think that is amazing. I have them in my kitchen, in my living room, my bathroom, my bedroom. I think I pretty much have a faux candle set to go off about 9 o'clock every night in just about every room except for my girls' rooms. I love them. They're awesome. One little faux candle in your bathroom and you don't even have to turn the light on. It's awesome. So anyways, it's just, I just love them so very, very much. And they're super handy. You put in a candle, most of the, most of the ones I have run on AA batteries. And I can run them every single day for about a month to a month and a half without having to change the batteries. And they are normally, most of them are set for like, they're like eight hours on or something like that. I can't remember, five to eight hours that they'll be on. So I love my faux candles and if you don't have any, I really suggest that you get some because I will turn, I have them set to go off in pretty much every room in my house once it gets dark out. And once again, just like with the lamps, if we've got candles glowing in a room, a lot of times the kids won't turn the lights on. They'll just, you know, continue on their way <laughs> and not turn on the lights, which saves me money. So I like to add a grouping of candles to my hutch area. I also have a grouping in the corner of my dining room. And finally, I have two on the shelf in my kitchen. Alright, so those are my three tips for cozy winter lighting and I hopefully this was helpful for you and it maybe gave you a few ideas at least of how you can make your home feel more cozy during the winter months. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate it and I will talk to you soon.